Welcome back, Coaster Nerd fans. Um, so it took me forever to get to the park. Turns out my pass is expired. Um, yeah, it's a whole long story, but I'm not gonna get into that because I do like this park and I'd rather not bash it. <laughs> but anyway, there's Iron Gwazi, looking pretty as always. Really hoping this ride opens relatively soon. Honestly, probably won't though because it literally still has its walls open, unlike another 2021 attraction, Icebreaker. So honestly, I really don't think it's going to be opening until maybe August. That's my prediction, is an August opening. Maybe even a December, late December opening, but we'll see. Still though, really anticipating on Iron Glossy being a really good ride. Um, Anyway, heading over to, I want to say Tigris. According to the app, it says it's a five minute wait. I really do not believe it's going to be a five minute wait, but we'll see. I'm taking the shortcut. Oh, I think it's a shortcut anyway. But anyway, as this video is being recorded at the moment, I have no seasonal pass um, for Bush Gardens. So, Honestly, I'm debating if I really want to get another pass, um, either go with the Platinum or the Gold. If I do go with the pass, I'm probably just going to go with the Gold. Um, if anything, but we'll see how that works out. Um, I do like my perks and all that, but of course I don't have them right now, which sucks. But anyway, um, hopefully Brian and I will also get back down here because that would be crazy. Um, anyway, this is just basically going to be a casual vlog video. Um, haven't had a casual vlog video in a while. Um, but yeah. Probably not gonna ride a lot of rides, also squirrel. Um, plus also, go over here. Look at these carp. Most people don't realize that Bush Gardens has carp. Yep, they got carp. And they're really big. <laughs> and got ducks. Anyway, heading over to Tigris, either Tigris or, yep, Tigris or Shikra. Not too sure which one I'm going to head first, but definitely today is going to be more of a relaxed day. Tigris, this way. Supposedly it's a five minute wait, I really, really doubt it's a five minute wait. With how crazy the entrance was and all that, let's check. I'm quickly looking at my phone. Hit Tampa. Great times. Bird. Anyway, wait times. So Shikra is a 20 minute wait. Sand Serpa 25, Falcon Spray 20, Tigress 5, Scorpion 5, Kumba 5, Monty 20, Kerber's Curse 40, and Cheetah Hunt is 115. I know you probably couldn't see that because of the glare, but anyway, those are the wait times at the moment, and it is basically 12.30. So. Anyway, Sesame Street is open, so that is pretty great, for the kids anyway. Honestly, 20 minutes for Shikra really isn't that bad of a wait. Neither is 5 minutes for Tigress. I'm really hoping it's just a walk-on. If it is, then 
Sweet. I'm just gonna marathon that for a bit because it normally gets a really long line because it's one tree knobs. Um, anyway, probably the most terrorizing thing in my opinion is this. Why? Still anticipating a 2021 opening. Really, really wish they would actually open it. Um, because then I have basically every roller coaster in this park. <laughs> but anyway, that's not what we're here about. We're not here to complain. Just to enjoy our day. I might actually go through there in a bit. Also, which is Lori's Landing. Um, anyway, there's Shikra. Ooh, it stopped really hard on that mid-course. Anyway, I'm gonna stop recording for a little bit and then pick it back up in a second. <laughs> okay guys, I am back. So I just did Stanley Flume's, um, Stanleyville Log Flume, Shikra, and Tigress. The big three in Stanleyville. Um, that was honestly a lot of fun. I haven't done the Log Flume in about six years. It's a lot better than I remember personally. Um, anyway, so next up on my list of things to do is 100% probably going to be Kumba. But anyway, we all know that this is basically my park. I go to 24-7. But anyway. Walking over to uh, Kumba at least. Gotta go through jungle law first. Tigers are over there, orangutans over there. So basically, it looks like Tree Trap Trails is not open. Kumba is definitely running. Okay. It's Falcon Street over there. Looks like the shortcut over is open from Congo River Rapids, which is interesting. It says like Congo River Rapids is open. So, if that's the case, that is really interesting. Because the last maybe couple times I've been, the Congo River um, Rapids have been closed. I have never, I've been researching to see why that was the case. Never got a straight up answer. But anyway, finally get to walk underneath this bridge, um, which is under Kumba's coverall. Yep, and the log flume, or not log flume, and the River Rapids ride is open, which is really intriguing. It definitely does not look like a lock-on, but it's definitely open, which is great, because this ride has been down for most of the time. Honestly, I thought they were going to take it out for a while. Anyway, so that's open, which is fantastic. It does look like there's some new uh, theming aspects for this ride. Redone some of the signs. These are also fairly new down here. Um, Koompas are roaring in the distance. And then. Nothing really new over here. But anyway. Let's go ride Kumba. Just got off three times off Kumba. 
amazing roller coaster. Honestly, like, I really hope they never tear it down. Same with Shikro, but then again, that's with all the roller coasters here. You have such a stack lineup. But I know eventually Scorpion's gonna have to go, and so is Kumba probably. In the, I wouldn't say the near future, but at least the next maybe 15 years. Um, the reason being is because Kumba really isn't getting the ridership as it used to. Fuck is scary. But it's definitely not getting the ridership like it used to. Um, the riderships, uh, I've definitely realized because I've been going to this park over the past 10 years, less and less people when the park's crowded are wanting to go back to Kumba and ride it. Or they just don't know about it. One of the two. Either way, it still stinks. Really hope they don't eventually close it, because if they do, honestly that's going to be a sad day for me specifically. I know a lot of people are going to love it. Um, but anyway, let's think about the positives. Um, it's definitely a, I wouldn't say crowded, but it's definitely a crowded day, if that makes any sense. It's not too crowded, but it's not exactly not crowded. So basically, um, I've gotten three rides in Kumba, one on, um, Flume's, um, ride. One on Tigris and one on Shikra. So I say today has been pretty eventful so far. I will not be doing Scorpion this time just because line Falcon's Fury. That's honestly a maybe, but anyway, for now I'm going to get the pretzels. Pretzels? What's the pretzels? One of the best places to get pretzels. You gotta go through the but yeah. Seven dollars. After eating the pretzels, um, French twisted pretzels, we're over here by the Indian elephants. Um, but yeah. Interesting how Bush Gardens Tampa, which is themed to Africa, has Indian elephants, not African elephants. Um, the reason why you know that is because the African elephants have a lot bigger ears than the Indians. Um, also, the Indians are actually more endangered than Africans, believe it or not. Um, but anyway, we're walking over back to the front of the park. Um, Cheetah hunt over in the distance. Um, but anyway, I'm basically just doing my last round of the park because this might be my last visit for quite a while, honestly. I'm still debating if I'm getting the passes or not, or at least a pass. Um, so this might honestly be one of the last videos since i would be using my season pass to go to Kings Island and Cedar Point. So I'm gonna be going to Kings Island and Cedar Point a lot more. Um, from the ideas and plans that I have in store, um, which is interesting, um, really nice. Excited to actually go back to Cedar Point. But anyway, I will definitely miss this park a lot. It's something I'm gonna have to sacrifice. Um, but anyway, hopefully I can at least somewhat get a pass for this park. Because I definitely need to ride Iron Gwazi if it will ever open. Um, anyway, let's see if the giant tortoises are out. Yeah, they're on the way over in the back. They were way over there. Anyway, so basically I guess this video is mostly just going to be a vlog type. She goes around a little bit. As this has, is the park that I've been to the most. Um, out of any other amusement park or slash um, theme park. So basically, we're gonna go over here to the animal encounters because honestly, if this is gonna be one of my last visits, I do desperately want to experience this or animal connections, experience this one more time. We'll get back over to the uh, whatever that's over there. This is currently closed. 
But anyway, animal connections. Most people don't even realize this is back there. Here, it's right across from Cheetah Hunt, um, where you can see deer and all that. And over here is where you can see animals. I'm never gonna try to pronounce that. Where that thing is. Do not see it. Unless I'm blind, which is also a possibility. Little baby alligators. I have no idea what that's called. Again, I don't see it anywhere. Whatever that is. Sorry. Piece of flaw. They have got a bull python. It looks like they're training. I'm not even sure what this is. A rock, whatever that thing is. Yeah, I don't know where that is at all. Uh, that's not an enclosure. Then you got the pink chickens, like Midway Wham says, but flamingos. But anyway, the pinker they are, that means they're eating a lot of shrimp. So these guys aren't getting as much shrimp, it looks like, compared to the big pink ones. But anyway, I'm not gonna go through all the exhibits just because I want to enjoy them myself. But also, I think it'd be kind of cool for you guys to learn and just know that there's this back here if you want to check it out. I just got done riding Cobra's Curse and Montu. Still some of the best roller coasters in the park, in my opinion. Um, Cobra's Curse, a fantastic family coaster. Montu literally is riding tremless right now. Getting a tremless Montu ride is amazing. If you can ever get the chance of getting a tremless Montu ride, it will literally not let you down. It's definitely, with that tremless ride, one of the best B&Ms in the world. No doubt about that. Anyway. I am, I'm not even too sure what I'm going to be doing next. Cheetah is 55. Probably am honestly gonna skip that. Falcon Spirit supposedly has gone down to a 20 minute wait. I don't know about that either. Cheetah Hunt. Honestly, it doesn't surprise me this ride is so popular as it is. I mean, Maverick at Theater Point literally is always a large line. So. Literally doesn't surprise me that thing has that long of a line. Anyway, so I think I'm gonna go back over to Anglazi. Check that out again a little bit. I really, really want it to open so badly. That's like the main reason why I've like Really, the main reason why I'm considering renewing my Bush Gardens Pass is because of Iron Gwazi. For that, though, I have no idea if it's going to be worth renewing my pass or not. Don't get me wrong, Bush Gardens is amazing as it is. Just, we've been promised this thing since 2019, still isn't even open yet. I know it's not the park's fault. Well, kind of is the park's fault a little bit with the lanes being fought against them, but at the same time now, kind of just, yeah. Mostly just a bunch of disappointment. There's the fountain, one of the mini fountains. Um,
And then the alligators are over here. Got the tree. Alligators. They're all sleeping. People think alligators are really entertaining and stuff. Not really, that's all they do. So sad to see this thing still closed. It hasn't even tested once today, which sucks. So I know the camera's swinging a bunch. Sorry about that. Um, Zaraho, Zara Cafe. I think that's how you pronounce it. Probably not, but well. Definitely nice eatery. But anyway, let's get over to Iron Gawazi. Check up on what's happening with it. Also, I'm pretty sure the food and wine festival thing is going on, so I can hopefully get in to the back area of Iron Gawazi. Supposedly opened at 12. We'll see about that. But anyway, this is the nicest I've seen this area look in forever. It looks really good. Honestly, really happy that they took out all the shrubbery and all that. So, we'll see. I saw on top of Shikra they had a train up on the track, but all quiet, it looks like, over at Iron Gwazi. Okay guys, so this is the next day. I forgot to end the video. Um, but anyway, I just wanna give you guys a quick update. Yesterday was amazing. Um, as much as it sucked at the beginning of the day, um, I did talk to uh, Bush Gardens and all their employees and all that and stuff. We got everything cleared up about my pass. Um, there's a lot of miscommunication and I do feel like there has been a lot of miscommunication when it comes down to the season passes. Um, so the season passes all determine where you buy them from. So let's just say you got your platinum pass from Tampa, um, any of the Florida parks. Basically, in that regards, and this goes also with San Antonio and Texas, if you buy them from those parks, you cannot, um, they do not, um, go past the original date mark. So basically you get three extra months or however they were closed, from my understanding. But if you buy your Platinum Pass from SeaWorld San Diego or Busch Gardens Williamsburg, you get your whole entire year. But since I bought mine from Busch Gardens Tampa, of course I do not get those exact things. Um, in perks, I don't get to keep my Platinum Pass till next year.